Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. If you're not using image prompts in mid-journey, you're missing out on a powerful tool. Today I'll show you how to use images as part of your prompts. Images work very differently in version 4, so we'll cover image prompts in both version 3 and version 4. Let's start by taking a look at the basic mid-journey prompt structure. Text is the heart of your prompt. This is where you describe what you want to see. I've covered text prompts in many of my videos, including videos like reversing AI image prompts. Parameters give mid-journey specific instructions about how you want your image to look. You can add multiple parameters like dash dash AR to set an aspect ratio or dash dash IW to set an image weight. I cover parameters in my video, A Quick Guide to Mid-Journey Prompt Parameters. Most creators skip over the very first part of the prompt, the image prompt. Adding an image to your prompt has a powerful effect. Using images as part of your prompt to create an AI image is often called image to image creation. You start with an image in order to create an image. To use an image as part of your prompt, you need a URL for the image. The easiest way to get a URL for the image is to send it to yourself in Discord. Drag the image into the Discord message bar. Click return or enter. Now right click on the image and select copy link. If you're using a cell phone, hold to copy. You're going to start your prompt with the reference image. Paste the URL into your prompt. The URL will be quite a bit longer at first, but Discord will shorten it down to something that looks like this. Elements from your image will work with the written prompt. Midjourney uses the image as inspiration. Here's a simple text prompt. If I add an image by a popular artist, the Midjourney dragon becomes more detailed. The image makes a difference, but not a huge difference. That's because the default image weight in Midjourney is 0.25. Practically, this means that your image is weighted about 20% and your text prompt is weighted about 80%. Image weight, or IW, is a parameter that tells Midjourney how much you want the image to affect your results. To increase image weight, type dash dash IW and a number after your prompt. If you bump the image weight to 1, the image and the prompt are about equal in weight. This makes a big difference in the overall image. The dragon is much more like the reference image. You can enter a really high image weight number like 100, but practically you won't see much difference past 5. Let's compare the results of this simple dragon prompt with various image weights. Image weights only work in versions 1, 2, and 3 of Midjourney. At the time of this video, Midjourney version 3 is the default. Image weights don't work in version 4. It might be a feature that is yet to be added, or it just might be that this version doesn't need image weights. If you are new to version 4, see my video, A First Look at Midjourney version 4. Working in version 4, the simple dragon prompt makes a perfectly fine portrait of a dragon. But when I add the reference image, Midjourney version 4 picks up on both the style and the content of the image. The dragon now breathes fire. Now that you've got the basic idea of image prompts, let's look at some of the different things you can do with image to image prompting. If you are an artist, even an amateur artist, and you have images you have drawn or painted, you can use Midjourney to digitize the image and fill in the details. Maybe you have an idea for a character and you sketch out a rough draft. Take a photo of your sketch and add it to Midjourney. Copy the link and add a few key descriptions to give Midjourney an idea of what you want. You'll get very different results in version 3 and version 4. I find that version 4 is terrific at image to image prompts. You can also use Midjourney to blend two or more images together. Simply add the two image URLs into the prompt and go. No text is required. Let's blend these two very different dragons together. You can blend in both version 3 and version 4, but again, version 4 is much better at blending without a text prompt. By blending images, you can place a character in a scene. One image is a character, one image is the scene. Add the two URLs and maybe a few details to the text prompt and you're ready to mix. You can blend any number of images. I'm not certain that there's a limit. I chose four of my photos and popped them into version four. No text prompt at all. The result is interesting. I got a strange Frankenstein effect. If I give Midjourney just a little bit of information to work with in the text prompt, I get a much better result. 
One of the images that you feed through mid-journey might be an image of yourself. Now you're making AI selfies. Add your own image as part of the image prompt and let mid-journey bring you into the image. Here is the result without an image prompt. And now the result if I add my own headshot as part of the prompt. Here I am now part of the image. I can add myself into an AI generated image by blending two images. Here's my headshot and an AI generated photograph. This makes me want to dig out some younger photos of myself and make a new headshot. Blending images like this only really works in Mid Journey version 4. Reroll a couple of times and you'll have some options to choose from. This blending technique works even better if you have multiple images of yourself in different poses. Here are some wedding shots that I took off of Pixabay. Unfortunately, one of the images flagged the not safe for work filter. I'm not certain why, but we can blend the other two together. You can use images in your prompt to create a character and use it in a story. Use an image of the character, either an AI generated image, a sketch, or a photo, and move the character to different settings throughout your story. I have a whole video on how to do this using a reference image and a prompting recipe. I'll put a link in the description below. You can also use a reference image in your prompt as a way of transferring an artistic style onto your image. I've covered style transfer more in depth in another video, but using the style of an image is perfect for transferring styles of unknown artists or artists specifically blocked by the AI. It's also great if you are the artist. You can transfer your personal style onto your Midjourney images. Let's see an example. Midjourney knows this artist and has a general idea of the style. But look what happens when we remove Klimt's name from the prompt and add one of his artworks instead. Midjourney picks up on the artistic style and also adds content of the composition. Let's take this one step further. Say you're walking down a street in London. You see something amazing and take a photo with your phone, or in my case, my Sony A7R III. You don't know the artist or how to describe the artwork. Let's take this Star Wars inspired graffiti and make a Death Star in the same style. Drag the photo into Discord and add a text prompt and dash dash B4. It's that easy. You now have a Death Star to go with your Millennium Falcon. I shudder to think how much text I would have had to write to get Mid Journey to come up with this image if I hadn't had a reference image to point to. This works for movies and films as well. You can take a quick screen capture of your favorite film and use the lighting and style in your own images. Here's a screen grab of one of my favorite films, Cyrano. I love the lighting and the sets. Using the screen grab, I can transfer the style easily onto one of my own images. If you're having difficulties getting a pose or an orientation, try adding a reference image that shows the thing you want to do. For instance, I was trying to get my character here to fly but no amount of prompting made this happen. But if I changed the orientation of the photo and made my character look horizontal, Midjourney knew what I was after and made her fly. There are a lot of times you're trying to get something and just can't describe it to Midjourney. Using an image shows Midjourney what you want. This goes for body shape, full body images rather than headshots, hands, anything that Midjourney isn't doing quite right. Midjourney may not get it 100% of the time, but when you're showing Midjourney what you want, you're more likely to get it. Let us know how you use image prompts in Midjourney. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo.